I'm Elaine Dutra, and I've been a volunteer at the library at Mayo, Mayo Hills O'Donnell Library for about 18 years. And this is my f friend, Faye Messenger, and she, um, she is our head librarian here, so to speak. Chairman. <laughs> Chairman. I am Faye Messenger. I've been in volunteering in this library since 1993. And uh, I thought it would be a, a few short years and it's turned into a long-term love of this library. Um, we ha this, is, this building was the first Protestant church in Monterey and it was built in 1876, the centennial of this country. The uh, members of the church finally outgrew the church and so they moved up on the hill and this was rented for a while and sold for a while and then finally uh, down there on Pacific Street the urban renewal was making some changes and they asked uh, if someone to take it or they were going to bulldoze it down. So the president of Monterey History Night says, we'll take it, we'll take it. And they had just bought the Dowd House next door and had just this much room to put the library on, plus 12 inches. So we had to negotiate a way to get it up here and we have a lovely picture of this building on a truck bed getting up here and uh, then the lady set in uh, cleaning it up and uh, getting to work on cataloging and once the membership found out Monterey History and Art the books just flowed in and we now have well over 2,000 and some of them are quite rare and uh, some are a lot of fun they'll tell you parts of history they didn't tell you in school so that makes it more interesting. We have a computer here where we're online we also have a beautiful um, site, website, which we invite people to use because we have an awful lot on it about this library and it pictures and how to find them and so on. So uh, we, I, ha I hang in with the old card catalog because it's quicker for me, but our card catalog is on the, the uh, computer too, uh, along with the uh, City of Monterey's library. We're on their card catalog, on their catalog system. So if you're down there and are looking for something and if they don't have it, they'll say, see Monterey. Uh, Mayo Hayes O'Donnell Library, so that gets them up here. A woman who uh, revitalized history here in Monterey by writing a weekly article in the Herald in an interesting way, and she had been a perpetual officer of Monterey history and art and a real, a real um, historian and uh, has many honors in her background. That's Mayo Hayes O'Donnell. And she lived around the corner at the uh, House of, with the Blue Gate. And she was forever uh, pushing us to uh, save buildings. That was one of their main reasons to start because they were just tearing them down. And she persuaded uh, the city and the state and us and anybody else she could twist an arm on to save these buildings. So you'll find many of them are in the care of the state of California. Several of them are in the care of the uh, city of Monterey and we're down to two or three now. So we, we did a pretty, job, pretty good job and the thing that I find interesting is we're one of the few, if, if there are any others, who have their buildings in place. Like you go to some of the others and they, the buildings have been moved in there from another place. This is the only building that's been moved and it's only been moved a few box, blocks but the historical preservation uh, the, the, in Washington says, no, if you moved it, you don't qualify. <laughs> so mm. we're just a, just a nice little uh, church. And that's one of the things that's been kind of hard. We are a former church building and it's hard to convince people that it's a library. <laughs> so we're still working on that. And as uh, we've been told, we're the best little kept secret in Monterey. Since we have uh, f so very few volunteers, we cannot be open yeah. as, as much as we would like to be open. So. We would encourage people, if you love small historical libraries, um, come, come on down and visit us and um, maybe volunteer your services. We would, we would really appreciate it. Thank you. As Francis Spradlin would say, one of our volunteers, this is a non-circulating library. You may look at them, read them, photocopy some of them, but they may not be removed from the library, but they're here for your use if you'll come and take a look at them. <laughs>